A maintenance man is being accused of murdering his wife. Police say Douglas Switch shot his wife while their three children were home Sunday night. News Force Caitlin Ogle was live on the scene earlier. Officers tell me it happened on the front porch of that white home directly behind the school, just a stone's throw away. And officers tell me the husband and wife were not the only ones there at the time. There were also three children. It's just a sad situation for the kids. Seminole Nation Light Horse Police responding to a late Sunday night call for help at a home behind Strother High School. That's where officers say the school maintenance worker Douglas Switch lived with his wife Kim and their kids. It seems they were arguing like married couples do. Matthew Crabtree tells News 4 he's the one who dialed 911 after answering a frantic knock at his front door. It was one of the Switch's kids. We let that child inside and she told us what happened. Mm. Um, so at that point we, we called the police. Crabtree not wanting to give too many details to protect the child from the trauma endured because officers say when they arrived, they found Kim dead on the porch. She'd been shot once in, in the head. 46 year old switch was taken into custody. Officers say he could face tribal and federal charges since the crime happened on native land and both switch and his wife are Native Americans. And according to online court records, Switch is no stranger to the law. He's faced criminal charges stemming from assault and battery and DUI cases from the early 2000s. Did we background check him and say this is probably okay to have around our kids? He probably should not be in that kind of a position where he has the keys to get in and out anytime he wanted to, to go in any room possible. We called the superintendent's office twice, but no answer. The school posting online that campus is closed until Wednesday, saying in part, quote, we offer heartfelt condolences to all those affected by the tragedy. We will make it through this together, being strong for this family and one another. In Strother, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Strother Public Schools say they will also not have class tomorrow. When the school opens back up, the school says it'll have services available for students who need it.